I said, what's good, Ring Fit Nation? All right, information continues to come out about the Travis Scott Astro World incident, and I wanna I wanna give you guys this update because a number of you has been asking me for an update, and it's been a lot of information. So if this video is long, I sincerely apologize. I'm trying. I'm going to do my best to make sure this video is as short as I could possibly make it, but there's quite a bit of information I want to get. I want to get through. But first, before we get into that, man, please make sure you guys follow my page on Facebook at RingFit TV. That's RingFit TV on Facebook. Follow me on RingFit TV on Twitter as well. But anyway, so the first video, right? The first piece of um, information I want to get into. I want to show you guys the beginning, right? I want to show you guys what happened before Travis Scott even took the stage, and like you can tell from this video that it wasn't going to be a good day like you can tell that people was already it people's already high energy like it was already hectic before the um concert even started but anyway let's watch this watch this video pardon me uh, I to put my thing back in. pardon me pardon me Look, people are already, already trampling each other already. Let me turn this down. I don't really gotta post this. You gotta see me. People are already trampling each other. Look at this. Look, look at this. Already. This is before the man even took the stage. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Look at the way these people are acting. And these are all young people. I'm not sure how old you guys are, but these are all like young people. And look at the way they're acting. Like, this is crazy. So they have nobody there to try to contain this or nothing. They just let them run through, huh? Maybe security is overwhelmed. Oh, look at the checkpoint. Look at the police in the hell. Look at this. Look at, look at the way they're acting like animals, bro. Animals, but they just acting like animals, bro. It's disgusting. Animals, Jesus Christ. I want to show you guys another video. This is another angle. This is another angle. This is further inside. Look. Jesus. Turn this down a little bit. But look. See, look at security. Look at the security guard. Hold on, hold on. You see the security guard? Like, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but this guy right there, he has a hoodie on, and he's just like, yo, whatever. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's just like, yo, yo, whatever, bro. Like, I, I can't do nothing about this. Oh my god, bro. I see the guy with the security shirt running with the crowd. Okay, but now he's trying to grab people. Okay, now that security guard tried to grab a couple of people, but it's like, what, what can, honestly speaking, anybody who's watching this video, like, what can that man possibly do? Like, respectfully, like, it's hundreds of people running past him, like, they, he not gonna catch everybody. He, I mean, he tried, but, like, <laughs> Jeez, are you tripped somebody up? Are you about to square run him? Are you about to fight him? Why are you about to fight the kid? Oh, they knocked the thing down. Look, why are they acting like this, bro? These are all young people. No way. No way. Oh, look, he's he pushing some of them. They got the cops and the horses. Jesus. There was no way. No way. No way. There was no way. But, all right, so you guys saw that, right? Now, th the two videos we just watched, those were before the concert even began. This this is before Travis Scott even got there. 
So you guys can see the type of energy, the type of frequency that the people were on, that these kids were on, respectfully, before the man even got there. Now, I want to show you guys an update from the Houston PD, which they confirmed what I said in my previous video. I will tell you, one of the narratives was that some individual was injecting other people with drugs. We do have a report of a security officer. I'm trying to make it full screen, you guys. Medical and staff that was out and treated him last night. Whatever. That he was reaching over to uh, restrain or grab a citizen, and he felt a prick in his neck. When he was examined, he went unconscious. They administered Narcan. He was revived, and the medical staff did notice a prick that was similar to um, a, a prick that you would get if somebody's trying. So basically, um, they were stabbing people in the neck with drugs. And like I said in my previous video, people just don't act like that. I mean, I get it, right? I mean, based on that video, we just saw people do act like that. I was wrong about that. But anyway, but like I knew it had to be some kind of foul play involved, something, because like it, it, it was just, it was just too much. But I'm 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 gonna let the man finish. And Jack, but oh, that was it. Sorry, that that was the end of it. But um, so pretty much they were, they was injecting people with drugs, and I, I knew it was something. Now, right now, that's that. Now, I want to watch this video from a content goer and, well, you'll see it. So this is basically, they're basically saying that there's people, there's four people out there without a pulse. That's them, their security, they're in the crowd. I'm sorry, but I have to mute this, have music playing. They have music playing. I, I'm sorry, I can't do that. All right, so the, the um, Houston Police Department finally showed up after a while, okay? So right now, they're trying to save people's lives and the concert is still going on. Finally, the paramedics show up. They carried them out. You know, so like I said, definitely a lot going on with this situation. Now, I want to show you guys. Now, this is a video of Travis Scott himself asking, like, asking, you know, want to show. Is somebody, uh, to get somebody some help. Because, like, there was a narrative being painted that Travis Scott continued the concert while people were suffering. And he kind of, and he did. It was not necessarily a narrative, but he did. But what the media is not showing everybody is that Trevor Scott did try to get somebody some help, as we're going to watch in this clip. The footage they don't want to show. I'm sorry, they got music playing. I'm not trying to get copyright. Somebody help. Somebody Sorry. Somebody help. Somebody pass out right here. So basically, he stopped his concert. He wanted to make. She wanted to get that person some help who passed out, wherever he wherever he passed out. You can't see it in the video. Somebody passed out right here. No, no, don't touch him. Don't touch him. Everybody, just back up. Security, somebody help. Jump in real quick. Keep going. Just, just somebody jump in. Come on, come on. Security, get it down. Let's get it down. Let's get it down. Let's get it down. So pretty much, Travis Scott. Wanted to get that guy some help, passed out in front of him. Like, like I said, man, it, it's a lot going on around this situation. All right, so now we, we are about to listen to what these people who went to the concert, what they had to say, and then we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you guys some new information about the victims of this incident, and you know, we're gonna close it out from there. Why shoot them? 
it, me, I'm just like, that actually happened. Like, reading the news about it, like, saying that people, like, actually died, like, sometimes I look back, I'm like, that could have been me, because it's like, God forbid I stayed in that crowd any longer. I'm pretty sure that's where most of those people, like, you know, had that cardiac arrest, because that's where I couldn't move. So, as soon as he came out, the wave just, like, kind of crushed me in. And I was like this. I was being controlled by everybody. And I had to, like, keep my head up like this, like, towards the sky so I could. Basically, what he's describing is what what was going on with him. He was in, he was, when Travis Scott came out, that's when the mob of people, they closed in. Too many people in such a confined space, you can't breathe. So in order for him to breathe, he had to look up to the sky, which is crazy. This is why I stay my ass home. But anyway, let's continue. Breathe. And as soon as the music came on, everyone went crazy. Everyone pushed forward and like you couldn't really move. Yeah. You, you'd you hear like everyone just saying, get out, I can't breathe, I'm about to pass out, I need you to move. Mm -hmm. There was even an instance where like when we're, or, you know, we're opening up a, you know, a mosh pit for another song, some guy was just like, blah, just hurling. And we're like, just like, make sure you're like, you okay? Like kind of making my way for him to like. Ugh, so some, pe some people was throwing up. That is disgusting. The, it, like I said, it was way too much going on around this incident man um so the guys are just throwing up and he has the actual shirt t-shirt on too i know that i know that logo but anyway so people were throwing up yeah 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 i forgot about covid huh i wonder i wonder if anybody caught covid no get back a little bit because like there was there was a security guard like uh kind of like behind the rails where we were at i'm like so sore i got like bruises all over me but we were getting really pushed against the fence or the the barricade and our barricade even started to break yeah, and the security to had to come over to us and like start strapping the rails and they were even like holding it like the whole concert because it, the metal had literally started to break and there just wasn't enough security telling people to like you know push like push move back. back so there was security there but just not enough like for if you're expecting a big crowd like that it, it was probably like five to one ratio of security yeah like 10 security versus like 300 yeah. 500 people like it's i guess that answers my question about the security but i mean you, but I mean, you saw that you you saw like you saw how outnumbered the security was in, in the beginning of this video when you saw all the kids running in like clearly you know i i feel like in my personal opinion and it's easy for me to say this being me sitting here they could have easily all right, we need more security. There's a lot more people than what we thought it was. Easily, right? At least I think it is. I could be wrong. But, you know, they could have easily called in more people, called in more cops, called in more whoever. Because, like I said, before the concert even began, you can see the type of energy, the type of time that these kids were on. You can see it. You can see it. You see it. They, they rushed in. They rushed in. And that poor security guard in the beginning of the video, he couldn't do nothing but all them people. So I, I believe everything these kids are saying for sure. It's just they're just yeah. gonna run through and uh, you know like security is usually like on top of their job but like this time on, on this one it just felt like it almost felt like security just like was like a uh, non-existent <laughs> they even said themselves but they were like saying oh we were understaffed a little it's like so um when you adopt a shelter oh, pet, no, you no, discover no 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 we're not doing that so um now right i want to show you guys some information on some of the victims like I said, man, um, if this video is a bit long, I apologize, but there's a nine-year-old boy that is in a coma, so I want to just send my prayers to this boy and his family. I wish him all the best. Like I said, man, there's just so much going on around this incident, man. Um, oh, God. It, it, like I said, it, it was it was terrible, man. Terrible, terrible incident. And like, it, it's just I don't know, man. It's not worth it. It's not. It, it's it's not worth it, man. I I don't think it's worth it. I, I this is why I don't go to concerts, man, for sure. And um, there's another one. He's a 14 year old boy, man. This is sad, man. You know, these are kids. I, like I said, I'm, I have a son them around that age, and I can imagine what. I would do if something would happen to him at a concert of all places. So it's just like, just be careful, you guys. I don't know, man. But I know people want to get out and have a good time, but I don't know. It's just not worth it, man. Um, there's a tw another one, 23 year old. You know, um, he passed away. And like I said, it's just so many, so many people uh, passed away. 
from this man. Another one, a 21-year-old who's working towards a medical mechanical engineering degree at the University of Dayton. It's just so many. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of them, man. A man was protecting his fiance from the crowd and he died. Oh my, I couldn't imagine being in that scenario. This is terrible. I want, I want to watch a little bit of, the, of this video clip and then I'm going to end this video. Like I said, I apologize for this video being a bit long, but there is a lot. There's a lot. 27 year old Donish Bag was killed during the concert. He was there with his fiance and his brother Basel. Basel says Donish saved his fiance's life Friday night, but it cost him his own. Today they honored the life of the man who they say died too soon. Fox News Payne Yeager spoke with his family today and joins us. Disgusting, man. Like I said, man, this is definitely disgusting. Um, I don't know, man. I, I don't. I don't think we need to watch this whole thing. You know. Now, Peyton. I don't, we don't need to watch this whole thing. Like I said, this video is long enough. You know. Um. I don't know, man. It definitely, definitely wasn't worth it. R.I.P. to all the people who lost their lives, the children, and like I said, the majority of the people that was in that crowd was kids. And as you can see from the videos that I've shown you, 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 you kids need to learn. Like that some of you who acted in this way, who were partially responsible for these people's death, I'm not blaming you completely, but you played a part in it. Like the way you guys rushed in and like you acted like animals, acting as if you never had anything. You all need to learn. Like that, that, that wasn't cool. Like I, I don't know what's going on in y'all homes, but there's definitely something going on in this generation, and it, it just doesn't. It just, it's just not cool. I, I don't know how else to put it, man. I don't really want to even harp on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, man. I'm kind of not in the mood at this point because, like I said, it, it hurt me. To, it, hurt, it hurt me a bit to see them young boys lose their lives because all, all I could do is just think about if that were mine my son and i don't even want to go there let me know what you guys say in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in the next video no long outro